And so these high status men, mm -hmm. it's not that you guys aren't great. It's that there's another one that we can go choose from, and that's the problem. Women are not as special as they think they are. There's a younger, hotter version of you that has less baggage that isn't a hoe that's more feminine and submissive. And unfortunately, the traits that make women attractive are common. The traits that make men attractive are not common. What we may think is a high-status man. A high-status man, one of the things that I found is when I was 23 and I was interested in 23-year-olds, they wouldn't piss on me if I was on fire, right? The really pretty ones. <laughs> and when I'm 45 and I'm doing really well, I just, and by the way, then having a girlfriend, I started getting messages from girls. I was like, wait, you forgot that I even existed now. I had a girl message me the other day. She goes, I miss you. I hope you're doing well. I love your podcast. I'm like, you miss me. We've never fucking met in person. This is the craziest <laughs> shit I've ever seen in my life. Where is this coming from? And, and so and you've made a great point, uh, Myron, about th them being on, on easy mode in their early 20s. And then now we're 45 and you know we have a seven or eight figure bank account. Now it's easy mode for us. When, when we were 23, uh, you know, uh, when, when I go home, the question is, when are you going to settle down? When are you going to go have a girlfriend? Oh. And the thing is, when you were 23, and I was interested in you when you were 23, you weren't interested in settling down. You passed me over for Brock the bartender. And so that's essentially what's happened is like, now we're at a place where we can be selective. And so these high status men, mm -hmm. it's not that you guys aren't great. It's that there's another one that we can go choose from, and that's the problem. Women are not as special as they think they are. There's a younger, hotter version of you that has less baggage that isn't a hoe that's more feminine and submissive. And unfortunately, the traits that make women attractive are common. The traits that make men attractive are not common. So women are easily replaceable for a higher status guy. I think a lot of like, young girls are now ho like even hoier than like the older girls though. Yeah. Like I've seen some shit on TikTok, like 18 year olds, right. 20 year olds posting like, mm -hmm. there's a body count TikTok trend right now. And it, it's seen. like per letter, they X off how many guys slept with. Like this girl's not even 21 and it's like 45 mm -hmm. people. I'm like, you're right. Are you okay? But it's you know what it is. So again, <laughs> it comes back to like it? how you were raised. Because like I said, you said it's the parenting thing. You, yeah, you said like most girls were not trying to like settle down at that age. Yes. I was literally from like 18 years old. I grew up in Wichita, Kansas. So from 18, go shockers. This is me. I was like, all right, ready to find my like my mm -hmm. my husband, like ready to get married, have mm -hmm. kids. Like that's my mindset. My mom's from. It's Alabama. a good mindset. Yeah. So it's like that's that's what I've always aspired to be. A housewife, a mother, like those things, and we need more women that think that way. By the way, that's it's, how I was too. That's how my little girl's gonna be raised. It's, mm. it's just, it's something that, I mean, you, I think you're right. We're a dying breed, but yeah. not all girls <laughs> want to be out there. Like exactly. The if you guys, if you guys saw the last podcast I was on, yeah, I, yo, I come in like this all the time. I'm the most low key, no makeup, no <laughs> nothing, because for what? Like, what am I? Who am I trying to impress? Like, I'm not trying to impress anybody. If there's a man that finds value in me, then they find value in me in ways that... Naturally. Yeah, that are natural, that are not like me going and doing the Please. most. 